Hi, my name is Mark Woodsma. I'm San Jose, California, and this is my 1981 DeLorean DMC-12. Uh, this car is a 1981 VIN 2855, and it features a black interior with a five-speed manual transmission. And some of the early year features on a DeLorean, you'll find on the, on the hood it has a gas flap. So it's one of the notable features of an earlier car. However, this DeLorean is quite special. It's special to me as well. Um, because of the customization this car had in 1982. Originally purchased in Stockton, California by Skip Hess, the owner of Mongoose Bicycles, or BMX Products, Inc. Uh, this was his personal car, but Skip was a car guy. He had Panteras and a number of other performance cars, liked to race, and didn't want a regular DeLorean, but he really liked the lines of the 1981 DeLorean. So he got in touch with a hot rod shop in LA back in probably 82, and had this car built like this. And some of the things that were done to the car then, obviously, is the paintwork and the graphics, which is all original. And it's all paint. There's no vinyl graphics or anything like that on the car. Uh, just leaving the top half still with the stainless finish. They also heavily modified the suspension, narrowing the rear track about six inches and the front about four inches in order to fit these custom one-off wheels with a much wider tire front and rear, and also get the lowered stance. So the suspension is heavily modified, things are narrowed up, it's different shocks and springs. They also tweak the engine a little bit with custom exhaust and some head work to give it a little more oomph. So after the car was completed in late of 83, uh, the cost of around 13 grand by the hot rod shop, uh, Skip owned the car for a few years and then sold it in, uh, I think 1986 or 87 and it went to a private collection in northern Indiana for about 30 years. After it was completed, it was featured in a number of magazines, one of which I happened to come across as a kid in February of 84. And the article on this car at that time was my DeLorean introduction, my introduction to the DeLorean car. And from that day, I always remembered the, the article and the look and you know how the car was put together, and it just really appealed to me, you know, the low, wedgy look of an 80s car. And th that, that led me to become a DeLorean fan. So in 2007, I was able to purchase my first DeLorean, but I always remembered this one as the car for me to have. So I sold that car, went on, played with a couple of different cars, but then earlier last year, a picture of this car appeared. And it appeared on the internet, and I saw the picture and I went, that's that car. And I gotta get that car. So I tracked down the owner, found the car in northern Indiana where it had come out of its hibernation and uh, shortly thereafter a few months later I was actually able to purchase the car so the car I'm sitting in today was the one I saw in the magazine when I was 10 which is pretty freaking amazing and I'm happy to uh, happy to be able to share the car and its history and its story of how it was built why it was built uh, with everyone going forward um, my plans are to to show it to drive it to restore it and, uh, and share it with everybody.